Okay, Pathfinders, uh, I've got two more very interesting people to introduce to you. Uh, talking about the artwork of this community and how Pathfinders can get involved with maybe some of the art in this community. Well, let's have them introduce themselves. Here we go. Uh, what's your name, please? Heather Rodriguez. Oh, Heather, where's home home for you? Have you always lived in this community? I was born here, yep. This is home home yep, for you? this is home home. Oh, great, okay, that's helpful to know. And then? I'm Laura Chapman, and this is also home for me. Really, both of you? You grew up here, went to school here, everything here? Yeah. Gillette is such a unique community. It offers so much. It does. For all ages, but especially for our Pathfinders who are coming. You two are dreaming a big dream, a big idea for Pathfinders. Uh, who wants to try to explain the dream where we're at today? Yeah, what do you think? Uh, I'll, I'll take it off and, and just start. Uh, the idea is to bring the, our, the Pathfinders out into our community and give them an opportunity to participate in public art. Ooh. So what we envision is several different locations throughout Gillette identified for the kids to come out into the community and participate in mural art and to be a part of a project that then is permanent in our community that they can say, hey, I did that mural in Gillette, Wyoming. And Heather is on board because she's got great expertise in this um, process. And it's a big project to try to pull together these locations, these artists, all of this. So you two are a team. And the two of you are going to pull this off, right? Yeah, with, with help. Say yes. With help. With help. Yes. Yes. With help. A lot of people. <laughs> yes. But you know, we're bringing a few Pathfinders from all over the world, right? right. Yeah. So in a, if they load up a bus at Camplex and they head toward the, the mural art project, you'll be there waiting, you maybe, or somebody else like you, be waiting to show them how to do this. Now, are you talking about art, the size of art? behind us? We're dreaming big sides of buildings. Uh, oh. I mean, ideally, we'd love to see large projects. I mean, I think that, you know, the location will determine the size of the, the okay. mural, but I'd love to see large projects being done in the community. So when I was, as a kid, as I get off the bus, you're there waiting for me, and the artwork that I might participate in might be grande. Large. Yes, absolutely. Is that what you're visioning? That is. So how perfect for all ages, different languages, different experiences. You can come in, it's well organized, well laid out. Kids get a one inch brush and a little cup of paint and off they go. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. So if I'm a kid, I thought you're just going to give me a big wall and I just start painting whatever I want. No, no, there's a plan. There is a plan. There's a plan. There's a plan. <laughs> there's a plan. <laughs> So there's certain colors that go with certain numbers, and that's what, so all of them working together is gonna to create this amazing, yes. beautiful mural. Oh, I'm so happy about this. <laughs> They're gonna, Pathfinder is gonna love this from all over the world. It's gonna be exciting. We're really excited to, to bring the kids in and to have them be a part of Gillette in this way and really leave a tangible mark. Why are you taking your personal time away from your family, all the things of life? You said, you know what, I'm gonna pour some of my influence and my talents into giving these Pathfinders an amazing experience. Why are you doing that? For me, it's, I, I believe in public art. I believe yeah. that it's important for the health of your community. I think that it is transformative. That's great, how about for you? For me, um, I believe that each of us are made to create because God first created. And so it's very important, especially in the times we live in, for people to know that what they do and how they do it is valuable and it can have long-standing effect. And these kids are worthy of your time and investment. Absolutely. Um, as they navigate life, as we give them a bigger picture of God in their life and creativity that comes through, the blessing of, you know, God gives us all this creativity. That's right. We're excited. We're, we're ex excited. We're expressive beings. <laughs> you we know, we, 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 should, we should, you know, have opportunities to yeah. express. It's so. true. When I travel the world, whether I'm in Haiti or other parts of the world, the creativity that comes out of young people and children is amazing. You're going to be a part of that. You're going to be a part of the Camporee and make it extra special. I want to thank you for all the Pathfinders watching and all the leaders that are watching. You're going to make this Camporee extra yeah. special. We've never had anything like this ever before. But in Gillette, Wyoming, it's right here. We'll see you in 2024. Say bye-bye, camera. <laughs> <laughs>